Hi kids, hope you all are doing great, right? So I am so happy to meet you all through this video session, right? So in the first session, we saw your first part, right? Your safety first is your fifth lesson and in that we saw about your first lesson. So what are the safety rules that we must follow at home, at school? and also we saw on the playground and in the swimming pool right so you know now what are the safety rules that we must follow to avoid accidents isn't it so you have to apply in your life and you have to follow all these rules right so now we are going to see your second part so your second your continuation of your fifth lesson right so now we are going to see what are the safety rules that we must follow on the road so usually we travel from home to school and school to home through the road right so now you have to know what are the safety rules that we must follow on the road so the first thing always walk on the footpath so footpath is the place where you can see on the side of the road right so you can see here the side of the road so on the road on the side you can see some pavement so this is called as footpath so you have to always use the footpath so always so always walk on the walk on the footpath f o o t p a t h so this is your footpath okay so always walk on the footpath so sometimes in many places there will not be any footpath like this so during that time or during that place what are the safety thing that you must follow is always walk on the right side of the road so always walk on the right side so right side of the road so these are this these are the things so if there is no footpath so you have to walk on the right side of the road why because you can see the vehicles coming from from the front so if you walk in the left side usually the vehicles go on the left side right so they move forward on the left side so suppose if you walk on the left side the vehicles may come back at you and you may not know what vehicles is coming and they may dash you they may hit you and there may be accident right so that is why when there is no footpath you have to walk on the right side of the road so that you can see what vehicle if it is a big vehicle like lorries or something so if it comes you can be away from the road and you can be safe after the vehicle goes on you can forward you can move forward uh, in the front right so always use uh, the right side if there is no footpath if the footpath is there you can walk on the footpath or otherwise walk on the right side of the road so this is the safety rules that you must follow on the road and the next thing always obey the traffic rules the next thing is obey traffic rules so there are many rules so you must follow the traffic rules and then you have to follow the traffic signal so what is traffic signal you can see okay so red yellow green so like that you can see the colors so it means that red means stop green means go yellow or orange means you have to wait so this is the rule that you must follow and then do not play do not play or run in the on the road so do not play or run on the road okay so you should not play or run on the road right so because there there are many vehicles may come and go 
right so there may be accident so you should not play or run on the road and do not walk between the two vehicles which is parked so do not walk between vehicles vehicles parked so in between two vehicles or rendu vandi ki nadula nama enna panna kudadu nadaka kudadu ena sometimes they may start the uh, vehicle and they may move right and they will they will not know that we are walking in between so you should not walk between the parked vehicle right so these are the safety rules that you must follow on the road so what are the thing walk on the footpath if there is no footpath walk on the right side of the road so that you can see the vehicles coming from the front and do not play or run on the road and obey the traffic rules and traffic signal and do not walk between the parked vehicles so these are the safety rules that you must follow on the road so next we will see so you can see what is this so this is called as zebra crossing so always when you want to cross from that side to this side so always use the zebra crossing so cross always on the zebra z e b r a zebra crossing so always cross the road through the zebra crossing or you can use subway or foot bridge so subway is the underground uh, tunnel used to cross the road and foot bridge is the over uh, i mean above the road so it is above the road uh, uh, way that you can cross the road so subway or foot bridge f o o t b r i d g so d g e so always cross the road on the zebra crossing so you can see black and white stripes on the road right so if there is no zebra crossing you can use subway or foot bridge to cross the road and always when you want to cross the road you have to see the right side left side again on the right side so three times right left again right and if there is no vehicles only you have to cross the road so these are the things that you must follow on the road so next uh, traffic signal right so you must follow the traffic signal so as i said so red means stop so if a red uh, light shows you it you have to stop so if there is a red light you have to stop your vehicle and if there is a yellow uh, light you have to wait so you have to wait till you get green light so once you get the green light it means that you can move or you can go so these are the safety i mean uh, rules particularly you have to obey the traffic lights or traffic signals so you have once you obey the traffic signal we can avoid accidents so next we are going to see what is first aid so now, till now we saw what are the safety rules that we must follow to avoid accident right but what is this safe first aid so first aid is after the accident suppose even if they are, we are very careful also sometimes accident may occur so after the accident once we give the immediate help or immediate treatment immediate first help so that is called as first aid so first aid is the immediate help given to an injured person before the doctor arrival so what is first aid so first aid is the immediate immediate help so it is called as help or care because if a injured person if a person is injured or a person got accident means immediately we have to give some care or help so that is called as first aid so the immediate help to whom we are giving so to the injured person so given to and injured person so injured means the, the person who got the accident or to who uh, got hurt so to an injured person before the doctor arrival so before the doctor comes before we take the person to the hospital or before we take the person to the uh, under the supervision of doctor so before the 
doctors d o c t o r s so uh, doctors arrival is called first aid so what is first aid so the immediate help given to an injured person before the doctor arrival so once the doctor comes and give the treatment after we give any uh, first aid so that is uh, for, for immediate help that is not called as a first aid so before the doctor comes and give some treatment we need to do, uh, give to this first aid why because to make the condition uh, less i mean uh, to if we are not giving this first aid so this condition may go severe right so to avoid this we have to give the first aid right so through this first aid we can prevent the life of a person right so we can save a person's life so now we will see what are the first aids that should be given for each cases so now we will see for a, for a minor cut and wounds so chinna kayam and then or chinna cut and the mari irundha what first aid we have to give so first thing you have to wash the wound so if it is a cut or wound so wash the wound or cut with water so running water so if there is a dirt or germs or uh, if there is a mud or sand present there so it it will be washed away with the water so then wipe it dry so make it dry then take some little bit of cotton with with antiseptic lotion so antiseptic lotion means either with detol or savlon like that so dip the content with the antiseptic lotion and you can apply on the wound so you can just apply on the wound which is dry right so then you can apply antiseptic cream so anti septic cream so what is this antiseptic cream so antiseptic cream is the antiseptic means is the substances that kills the germs on the wound so apply antiseptic cream and tie a bandage so tie a bandage so this is the first time that should be given for a wound or for a cut if it is a minor cut if it is a very small cut we can use the bandaid right so to prevent the uh, blood loss we need to do this first aid right so next we will see what are the first aids that should be given for burns so on the burn burns means it is it may be dry burn or wet burn right so once our skin is exposed to fire so that is called as burn so on the uh, if there is a burn what first aid we should do is first thing we need to pour the cold water that is running water so uh, pour some cold water or running water on to the burnt area right so till the sensation till the burnt sensation becomes less we need to pour the cold water or running water right so how he is doing like that or you can just show your hands on the uh, tap water because the tap water uh, pours more uh, water forcefully right so or else you can pour some water on the burnt area right so after this you can apply some ice pack first thing so first thing pour running water so running water on the burnt area then you can keep some ice cubes so apply ice cubes apply ice cubes just rub the ice cubes on the burnt area and then after you make it dry you can apply the antiseptic cream so apply antiseptic cream so these are all the uh, safety i mean uh, 
first aids that should be given to a burnt area. So, next we will see what are the first aids that should be given to a insect bite. So, insects like mosquito, wasp, bee and then uh, bug, uh, bed bugs, ticks and spiders. So, these insects when they may bite or they may sting us right. So, during that time what first aid we should give? So, first thing we, we have to pour cold water. So, pour cold water. So, after you pour the cold water, after you uh, uh, pour uh, the cold water, we need to apply paste of baking soda. So, what is this baking soda? Upper uh, soda they will say, soda mavu they will say, right? Your mother used to put it in batter for preparing idlis and dosas, right? So, apply uh, paste of baking soda. So, mix some baking soda with water and make like a paste. So, apply a paste of baking soda, baking soda and also you can apply cold cream, cold cream. So, when there is an insect bite, this is the first aid that should be given, right? So, next we will see what are the first aids that should be given for a fainted person. Faint means myakam potavirda, so the person becomes unconscious, right? So, immediately everybody will go and surround that person. So, we should not crowd around a fainted person. So, because they may not get a sufficient amount of air or to uh, oxygen to breathe, right? So, first thing, we should not crowd, we should not crowd around a fainted person. Next thing what first aid that should be given is the head of the fainted person should be kept downwards and the body part should be upwards. So, make the person, the make the head of the uh, portion of the head portion down. So, the head portion should be lower than the body. So, why because to make sure the blood flows to the brain to make sure to make sure that blood flows to the uh, head region, right? So, that is why we have to keep the position of the person as the body should be upwards and the head should be downwards, right? And then what are the next thing? We must uh, pour some, uh, uh, we can sprinkle some water on the face. So, sprinkle water, sprinkle cold water. on head and then loosen, loosen the collars and belt. So, loosen the collars and belt. So, if a, if a person is immediately fell down or fainted, so immediately do not crowd that person and the person head should be lower than the body and then immediately loosen his collars. The collars will be tight on the belts will be tight. So, immediately loose it, the loose the belt and loose the uh, collars and you can even sprinkle some cold water. So, you can just sprinkle some cold water on the head, right. So, these are the first aid that should be given for a fainted person, right. So, next we will see what is first aid box? So, a box that contains all the necessary uh, things to give first aid. So, that is called as first aid box. The first aid box contains cotton, scissor, gauze, antiseptic lotion, antiseptic cream. So, what are the things that a first aid box should contain? So, the first thing cotton, C O T T O N, cotton, gauze. So, gauze is the netted uh, cotton material used to tie the, make a bandage and then scissors, scissors used to cut the bandage, to cut the gauze, to cut the cotton, we can use the scissors. So, th that should be scissors and then antiseptic 
antiseptic cream so like uh, burn all okay so burn all b u r n o l burn all and then antiseptic lotion so what are the antiseptic lotion means dettol so antiseptic lotion or liquid so we can say antiseptic lotion or liquid so it can be dettol or savlon s a v l o n right so these are the things the first aid box should contain so you you can even make a first aid box at home buying all these things and you can make a old box and as a first aid box and you can keep all those things so because it is an emergency uh, uh, very required uh, uh, thing that you are you should have at your home right so these are the materials that a first aid box should contain right so next uh, so almost we are in the end of the lesson right so in uh, in this part you learned what are the safety rules that we must follow on the road and you learned what is first aid and what first aid should be given for uh, minor cuts and wound and uh, for burns and for insect bite and also you learned for a fainted person right and what you what are the uh, first aid things uh, that a first aid box should contain so all these things in this uh, part you have learned right and then now after you watch this video so you can see after this video you can see a arrow mark which is like this right so if you click this arrow mark you will get the details like this so here you can see a google drive link right so once you click this so once you click this you will get the information so whatever uh, the materials that we have added along with the videos uh, your subject material your self assessment and question bank so you will get the page like this so this is your subject material question bank and self assessment right so if you want a subject material if you click this you will get the subject materials your notes and if you want question bank once you click this you will get so once you get this you have you have to click this one to download the materials right so once you download the materials so your materials will be downloaded in your mobile in your internal storage and from that you can take up the notes and you can write the notes and you can read for your self assessment so after you download the materials so you will get the materials like this so this is your uh, materials for your safety first so you will have choose choose the correct answer so accident occur like that you will get the materials like this and then you can once you scroll down you can see the second row and the second row and is fill in the blanks and then true or false name the following so and even sometimes you can see some extra questions so creative questions for example we have added uh, first what is the first aid uh, should be given for an insect bite so it will not maybe it will not be in your book book back question so it may be it is given as an extra question as a creative question for you so you have to read also that and then you match it pick the odd one and after you read all the one marks so up to this this is your one marks and your this is your two marks so two mark questions so you will have the two marks and your answer will be in your red color right so read all the two marks so after you read the two marks you will get the five mark question so this is your five mark question so what are the safety rules that you must follow on the road so that is your five mark so read that and you have to write without the spelling mistake so after that you have a diagram so you have the diagram what is a diagram first aid box so you have to draw the first aid box uh, not necessary these things just you draw the first aid box and you have to write what are the materials that should be present in the first aid box so this is about your subject material so uh, read everything and do the self assessment and try to send us the marks whatever you took or just take a photo snaps and send us to the whatsapp number so thank you children have a good day